We all bear responsibility to the place that we call Honua, Mother Earth, because we are all a part of it, not separate, not better than the other. We're all in part, uh, as the Kumulipo say, we come from the same sources. So that to me is a responsibility, I think, uh, being in the Sanctuary Advisory Council that helps me to impart that and hope that those that follow will take on those kinds of responsibility and continue to, to bridge it generationally so that it's never forgotten. The National Marine Sanctuary System is about 620,000 square miles of the ocean and Great Lakes. It's protected for the resources that are there, but also what those resources mean to a community. And one of the interesting things about the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries is that we're protecting a place, not only for species and habitats, but also so that we can educate our youth and educate the public at large about what the ocean means and about what these individual places mean. It's also an opportunity for us to, to make sure that the protections we put in place are allowing a community to thrive and bringing together the voices and the individuals and the collective groups of people who matter to this place and that matter to keep that place healthy for the long haul. I think one of the things I've been really impressed by with the sanctuary is that sitting on the advisory council, I see that they receive input and feedback from a variety of different stakeholder groups. And there are a lot of different voices in that room, a lot of different perspectives in the room, and the sanctuary staff are hearing all of those perspectives when they're making decisions about how to manage the sanctuary. Uh, and the council, like all the councils, provides this unique forum for all of the stakeholders, all the partners, who are participating in the Marine Sanctuary program to come together regularly to have really challenging discussions about the current issues, to identify future issues, and to work as a, a set of partners to help achieve the goals of the, of the sanctuary. It's really never been more important for us to ensure that we have the right level of protection in place and at the same time recognize the community's needs and what uh, level of importance the sanctuary represents for that community. I know it's something that I feel proud uh, to be a part of, to be serving on the Sanctuary Advisory Council. Being a fisherman and representing the voice of fishing guides at the Sanctuary Advisory Council level, I think we're a big part uh, of the partnership that it's going to take to protect these important places. I would really encourage people to come and be part of it. It's the, it's the best way to find a solution that works for everyone, is to, is to come and respectfully listen and then contribute so that they can be part of the solution. So what should your role be? Come help us, right? Be a part of these communities, be a part of the decisions that we're trying to make here to protect these places for, for my children, for your children, for you know future generations. To, you can do that in numerous ways, right? You can step in and be a member of our advisory councils and you can come sit at the table and provide input and be a liaison to your community to say, what should the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries know about this place, why it matters to you and what we should do to protect it to the future? With you, and with you coming in and being a part of this with us, we'll make better informed decisions, but we're also gonna be growing the capacity we have there and being able to make even more of a difference in this place and a place that's important to you.